What's poppin' YouTube? It's Nia, and I'm back with another freaking video. And today, y'all, I'm gonna be doing a tattoo reveal, talking about my tattoos, telling when I got them. It may not be the correct order, y'all, but I'ma try, because I don't even remember like that. I'm also gonna be talking about um, pain, like how bad it hurt, and yeah, just the whole nine on the tattoos. I actually put a poll up on my Instagram, and this was one of the things that y'all requested for me to do. So, if you're new here, go ahead and like comment subscribe to my channel and yeah let's just go ahead and get into the video so this is a disclaimer y'all i do have a pretty high pain tolerance i'm not gonna say that i'm just like there like tip top but i do i can't take pain without it like being like oh it bothers me or whatever so i did want to throw that in there before i get into the tattoos so yeah now let's get into the tattoos <laughs> So actually, y'all, this cross inside of this tattoo was my very, very first tattoo. And um, I just got the cross. That's all. That's what, that was my first tattoo because I was actually a little bit scared. Y'all, I didn't start getting tattoos till I was 21. 21, I think. I think I was 21 when I got my first tattoo. And I just did it. I just went ahead and did it because I knew I always wanted tattoos, but I never really knew what I actually wanted. I always knew I wanted the sleeve, though. I knew eventually if I got into tattoos, I was going to get a sleeve. So, yeah. Um, this was my first tattoo. And I ended up getting this added on later. But I think this one, I added on to this one after I got this tattoo. So this is an inspo from India Love. It is a little messed up because it's supposed to be cleaner. Like the artist kind of went into the tattoo a little bit. But it's not a big deal. It's an easy fix. And I'm going to get this one fixed because this is like one of my favorites. I love, love, love this tattoo. I got this tattoo inspo from India Love. She has it on the back of her neck with some other stuff. So yeah, that's where I got that from. I got this one on my back. It starts up here and it ends down here. And you actually, if I'm laying sideways, like on my side, you can read it. That's how you read it. You don't read it up and down, you read it from the side. So it says, peace, love, and happiness. And I'm going to add more on my back because it's a reason I put this because that's all the things I need in my life. Peace, love, and happiness. That's a great life, right? And you have all three of those so yeah that's what that that's what that means i think i'm gonna continue to leave it open i'm not sure yet because i like the open look y'all i don't know why i'm out of breath i was working out before this so well i worked out took a shower got ready now i'm doing a video so if it seems like i'm out of breath y'all i kind of sleep am but yeah also if y'all want to get into my fitness journey let me know about that too because i can vlog that all that we'll chat at the end anyways <laughs> yeah this one like i said you read it from the side and you um it says peace love and happiness it did not hurt until you got to the top so at the end i'll give y'all the pain tolerance because i already went through tattoo two tattoos and didn't tell y'all so yeah it didn't really hurt until you got up here and still it didn't really even hurt it just stung a lot more than the bottom did We'll get into the sleeve now. I'm gonna give y'all a general look at the sleeve. And it's not done yet because I still have the inside to do here. I already have a tattoo I did here and I'm just gonna fill this in with more of these roses. But anyways, I got this tattoo first. This is a scripture that my grandma really, really loved. She passed away in 2016. So this is in remembrance of my grandmama. That's her name at the bottom, Claudia Bell Brown, and this is one of her favorite scriptures. Yeah, so y'all, I did not get this whole sleeve at the same at the same time. A lot of people think I did, like I just sat through. No, this was pieces put together that I, I um, put together with roses and lights. That's all. It's not. A, it, I did not even sit and get this whole sleeve at once. If you do that, you are strong. Okay. But no, I did not. So after that, I got this tattoo. Let's see how I'm gonna show y'all this one. This is a tattoo in rem not in remembrance, dedicated to my son. I actually got this part, just his name, Marcus D. Banks the Third. First, before I got all of this, and his birthday added, 
and it says my sunshine right there because I used to always call him that. I put him, I put that on his baby bag, everything. He was my sunshine. So yeah, that's his birthday, 12, 2020. And I ended up putting this rope of flowers in y'all. And I think this is the most gorgeous thing ever. Like this was, this was probably my favorite tattoo at one point. Um, so I put this together and I love the detail of the flower. Like you can actually see the color in it and it's, a yellow flower with um orange in the inside so yeah i really really loved it i really 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 loved it and then eventually i had these two pieces for a while just these two pieces without the stuff added and i was like i could just go ahead and make this into a sleeve because the idea behind the tattoo wait let me tell y'all let me show y'all this one first so here on the outside i have my mom's name nina that's my mom and that's my girl if y'all know if y'all know, you know, you that's my girl. And I had to get her name tatted on me. She did not want me to get her name tatted on me. She did not want me to get her name tatted on me for some reason, y'all. I'm going to do what I want to do because that's just how I am. And I did it. <laughs> so, yeah. And I'm actually forgetting the tattoo, y'all. I'm forgetting a few. I have this tattoo on my arm. This is 8888. Those are my spirit numbers. That's what I feel like was put on this earth for me. 888 if you know what 888 means come in below if you don't look it up because good stuff and actually this was a cover-up i got this tattoo um this was probably one of my newest tattoos other than the shading right here and my, my mama's name because this is fairly new too this is one of the new ones um it's a cover-up i actually have my mama's initials njs on my arm and it was in green and it did not come out how I wanted it to. Green is my favorite color because I was going to make this my dark orange, this my color orange. But it didn't work that way. So I just went ahead and got it in black because black ink takes really good to my skin. So yeah, it's a cover up. A, a very good cover up. That's what the name was. You can kind of see it still, but bomb cover up to me. It looks good. And then... um. Then that's when I uh, started to connect these two because I did have them single for a while, like I said. And the meaning behind this whole arm is because of my grandmama. He's here and my mom's here and I'm here and it's on my body. And that's how much I love my grandma, y'all. If y'all know, y'all know, like, that's my lady. Like, I love her. I love her. I love her so much, so much. So, yeah, she is the light that grows everything that's on my arm. That's the meaning behind this whole arm. So yeah, I thought it was clever. Hmm. Very, very original to me in my life. And yeah, I really, really love the thought behind this tattoo, this whole sleeve. And it's not done yet. And I can't wait to show y'all when I get it done, how I get it done, how it look, all of that. Because yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm finna start vlogging more. So y'all will see when I get this, all of this done. What well, the rest of this done, it's not even much. Just here, here in here so yeah i have one more tattoo y'all and i don't want to show y'all my toes <laughs> they're done but <laughs> i want to show y'all my toes <laughs> listen i'm gonna show y'all my toes don't don't come for me <laughs> because i ain't got time to play today and yeah i'm gonna show y'all my foot tattoo okay so this is <laughs> This just feels so weird. <laughs> it feels so weird, y'all. But my <laughs> Okay, for real. This <laughs> This is my foot tattoo. <laughs> Don't mind my deodorant. <laughs> okay, this is my <laughs> Okay, stop playing for real. Okay. For real. For real this time. This is my foot tattoo, y'all. It says, <laughs> it, it's a flower that um was going up. Okay, let me tell y'all this first. So, I actually got this tattoo back when I was, um I, this was one of my first tattoos. Um, I got this one the same time I got these words put on my arm. And I did not... I guess I didn't take care of it correctly. I put on tennis shoes a lot. 
and the tattoo actually came off. And people do not believe me when I say that, but I swear to y'all, the tattoo, I got the tattoo done, it was beautiful. And it just started to come off, like it was erasing. And I was like, what the heck? So my tattoo artist actually did this one for free. And I actually got this one, y'all, on the 18th of December, mind y'all. And this was back when I was pregnant. I got, I got this one redone when I was pregnant with my son and he was, I got it on the 18th. He was born on the 20th. So something tells me like, girl, this tattoo put you in labor, but I feel like he was just going to come into labor anyway, y'all, because I was nesting like crazy. But if you saw my past videos, then you'll, I already told this story. But yeah, um, I got this tattoo. It says, La Viva y Bella. <laughs> And it means life is beautiful in French. And um, I had a, it's flowers right here that used to go up my toe. It stopped right here. But y'all, when I say it hurt, <laughs> play with your man, man, when it comes to that. Because, mm -mm. so I was like, no, you don't have to. And that's how much it came off. I'm not going to put my toe all the way in the camera. But it was a flower right here. And you see it, it's 100% gone now. So yeah, I just told him to stop right there and he fixed this. And yeah, so this is my foot tat. And yeah, that's the end of all my tattoos. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna tell y'all my favorite, my most favorite tattoo, my least favorite tattoo, um, which tattoo cost the most. I'm not gonna talk to how much it was um, and just like that kind of stuff. So yeah, um, my least favorite tattoo, I think I already said it, it is this one i want to get this one covered up before i even get another tattoo probably before i even finish my sleeve i am going to get this one covered up this is my least favorite my most favorite tattoo overall y'all of course has to be the sleeve but individual it has to be my back piece i think that's probably my favorite tattoo because i just like the way it looks and i can't wait to put more on my back because it just looks good it's just it's sexy <laughs> and i like it so yeah um that was probably my favorite my most expensive tattoo overall of course was the doing of the sleeve but um i probably paid the most either for my back tattoo or the shading part of this tattoo i'm not sure which one it is but i'm, I'm i think it's probably the shading the shading um that was most expensive one I paid for, and do I plan on getting more tattoos? Yes, because why not? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. And, oh, y'all, I have another tattoo. This one. I forgot about this one. This is my baby in three. I, how did I forget about this one? This is actually my favorite tattoo. How could I forget about it? Cause I guess it's because it's on the side of my neck and my hair is always blocking it. But yeah, y'all, this is my son's name m3 that's his nickname because he's marcus the third people always ask me where m3 come from but that's where it's from he's marcus the third and yeah this was my least painful tattoo by far my least painful other than that one being my least favorite my, le my least painful honestly this this writing wasn't yeah probably the writing the writing would be after this one so yeah y'all that concludes my tattoo adventure. <laughs> y'all really play too much. So yeah, y'all, this concludes this video. Thank y'all for tuning in. Tell a friend, tell a friend, and tell a friend, and they grandma, and they auntie, and they sister, and their brother, and their mama, and their auntie, and they... <laughs> Just tell everybody to come join the squad, join the team, join the gang, because we're gonna go up this summer, y'all. My birthday listen my birthday is coming up my birthday is july 10th if you did not know don't know what i'm finna do completely yet y'all but i'm turning up because i'm turning 24 this year and yeah it's only getting litty litty titty <laughs> okay for real i'm getting too far thank y'all for tuning in subscribe to the channel and yeah i'll see y'all next time